what's going on guys well if you're seeing this that means uh i caught enough fish to make a video <laughs> uh, i don't know if you could see them boys in there but went out tonight i'll have the fishing portion of the video up probably tomorrow i'm gonna work on it tonight i got a lot of stuff to go through it was tough fishing i tell you what but um one thing i'm gonna do for you guys show you guys how to flay up these crappies using the uh this is a rapala electric flay knife just a corded one that my old lady got for me for i think it was christmas or my birthday either way probably one of my favorite things as far as flaying fish it speeds the process up immensely so this is my station here got my old cutting board out here got some batteries charging so maybe i can go out tomorrow night and then the old garbage for all the goodies, but I'm gonna set you guys up because I'm holding the tripod right now and spin you around so that way you can see. So hang tight here, folks. All right, guys, you got a beautiful crappie here. You got a gill in there. I'm gonna show you guys how to flay these up the way I do them. I'm gonna get off the light here. That's what I do. Hold them tight. Put them right on that. What you want to do is you want to cut, you know, halfway through. You want to be careful. Once you cut halfway through, you're gonna turn the knife sideways and you're gonna work it right down the backbone. You see how I'm staying tight to the fins on both sides here? You just pitch the knife down. Leave the flay on, flip sides. The reason I leave the flay on is it keeps the fish flat. If you cut the flay off, your fish sits all wonky. Same thing. Got that an angle. Turn it. This one off. I know some people just flip them over and skin them. Your fish should look like that. A little missed a little there, but you should be able to feel your feel all the bones. So that's it. That's how you do it there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these all flayed up, put you guys on a little time lapse deal, and then uh, when we get to the end of that. I'll skin them and uh, show you how that goes. So stay tuned. All right, guys, well, you just watch me flay up all these fish. There's some napkins in there. Right. As you can see, they're all clean real good. There's not much missing on them flays. But now we need to skin those bad boys and get the rib cage out of them. First, I got to find my flay knife which will take a second so the next time you see me we're gonna be skinning fish so let me find that bad boy for us here All right, guys. I'm gonna try to get out of the out of the deal there, so you guys can see a little bit better. But got my Rapala flay knife. 
Easiest way to skin them, hold the tail end. I usually try to work towards the edge here. Make sure your knife is sharp, it'll help out big time. And just follow that flay knife up. Should end up with skin side like that. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can see that. Skin side should be void of any meat. Then what I do, you can feel the ribs right here. Once you slice under them, just curve the knife up. A piece I can just cut off. There you go. You have your rib cage. Nice, beautiful flay. Now, I had about 24 more of these things to do. Alright guys, now that our fish is all flayed up, still got nasty hands, <laughs> we got our bowl of fish fillets, and what I do is I run that under cold water for a while, after a little bit I'll kind of take my hands, obviously once I clean them, take my hands in there, I'll kind of swish the fish around, try to get any as much of the blood off as I can, and then what I like to do is I throw salt, like table salt in it, and I let it sit in the fridge overnight and that'll pull the rest of the blood out of the fish and you should end up with super white flays. We got this little shit here, trying to get involved in the fish cleaning business here, but she ain't gonna help me clean up, that's for sure. But um, I'm gonna get these cleaned up and get some salt in the bowl and then I'll catch you guys in the morning and I'll show you what they look like with a little bit of salt in the water after you've cleaned them in a bowl in the sink. <laughs> She's trying to be a helper. All right, guys, it's the next morning. Um, making breakfast here, so I figured this is a good time to show you how nice and white those flays are. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna clean out the side of the sink where, oh, doesn't really matter what side, but I'm gonna clean out one side of the sink. And what I'm gonna do is, I'll put that back in there. Don't mind the dishes, but put that back in there, I'm gonna run cold water back over it and just kind of wash that bloody scaly water out and then um, I'm gonna bag it up so you guys seen how white those are nice and white there's just some bloody water in there I'm gonna clean that up get all those nice and clean and then bag them <laughs> 